Hi, Godzo Medicine PS4 and 5 and Medic Maniac YouTube and as you can see a bit of Horizon Forbidden West from PS5 so I've been playing a bit of this I still haven't completed the main story yet um, but I've captured a few pictures as you can see and I've got a bit of gameplay footage so I've played this quite a bit but I'm upgrading a lot of equipment, armor and weapons and stuff because you know you can. That's what I'm doing. So a tide ripper, I had to get some drops from the tide tide ripper. And so I had to beat a few of quite a few of these or different pieces of equipment to upgrade. So using a bit of ice on the arrows there. It's a regular side trick, but it's not an apex one, this one. Although I have had to go at apex as well. And as you can see, I'm just using the bow. That's the Osram Vanguard bow, which I um, put upgraded fully. And I've put coils on it and stuff to... Uh, for tear damage so I can knock components off. I used it on Stormbirds as well for the Stormbird cannon because that's a component that you need for upgrading as well so I, I did quite a few Stormbirds but the Tide Drifters can be quite tricky it's very difficult to get the components just at the side of the uh, where what looks like the mouth of that drill bit that shoot out the water because they, they're always moving and even when you slow it down a bit with the target in with the bow you know you click down the arse stick and slow it down a bit they're still quite tricky to hit I suppose the trick would be to um, you know use the rope caster and tie them down a bit but there you go job done never rains but when it pours eh and horizon there uh, looking very very nice once I start taking pictures it's very difficult to stop really a bit like Ghost of Tsushima for that one and then we got accosted by a apex behemoth and another behemoth around here as well I think there was a couple of shell walkers and burrowers and stuff um, that harassed me when I was going to the save point while I was using this save point to go back and then get the tide rippers so I had to put this apex behemoth in its place use the um, flame trip caster because it's not weak to flame but it's not strong against it either so that's why I used the flame one and then you know just for that little bit of extra damage and again using the Osram Vanguard bow just to knock components off and try and be you know precise it's not always easy to get your precise shots is it but there are other weapons that I can play around with but you know because I'm upgrading a lot of equipment I'm finding that I'm just really really trying very hard to knock components off for upgrading purposes so I'm just sticking with the bow and obviously, you know, like some of the better weapons and that I'm trying to upgrade. So Tremor Tusks. Really cool machines in this game. I remember seeing them for the first time. And I do have a figure of the Tremor Tusk. And this is the Apex Tremor Tusk. So it's uh, a tough cookie. Or it can be. I didn't cut out the footage here, you know, coming up to it because I really like this arena. So I thought it'd be nice to show, you know, Aloy coming up to it and where you see it, and obviously, you know, scan it a little bit just to show up that it's an apex. And as you can see from the writing at the side, they can be a bit tougher than your standard ones. So set to work. 
I love the machines in Horizon. I really love them in uh, Zero Dawn as well. They reminded me a lot of Zoids, if you know what Zoids are. Those used to be a thing in the 80s. I remember Commodore 64 Zoids game with music by Rob Hubbard. Try that again. Rob Hubbard. He used to be quite popular. Working his magic with a SID chip on the Commodore 64 back in the day. I wish that Aloy had a tech role. That's one thing I found playing this game. When when you're in uh, fights with multiple machines and you get knocked, because sometimes you know you'll get machines attacking you that you can't see from behind or off the screen to the side. There, you know, as you're focusing on a machine in front of you there's a lot of area that you can't see so if you get hit and knocked or whatever um, it would be a great functionality to have a tech roll you know on impact with the ground just leave it at circle you know and another thing I'd like to see um, for, Z for Horizon games is I know you've got the roll which is a dodge and I know you've got the running and the slide and I know you can shoot from sliding as well um, and I know you can bounce off walls um, by using circle and you can chain stuff together with that it's not quite Prince of Persia S but you know you can you know um, try and get it in there I suppose if there's any walls around near you but the problem is that I think that more dodges or more variations of dodges uh, would be nice you know like a, a side step so you, you're not always rolling and then having to sort of regain your footing and then aim so maybe a, a side step while you're aiming or I, I don't know how they work it but you know basically like the tech crawl if you're not and just more kind of um, player friendly for, for combat I think but I, I don't know how Horizon will evolve in the gameplay for the next game but it would be nice if uh, common sense and workable features were you know added I think that the fighting system and the combat and the depth to it and the different weapons and the way you can play is very common sense and a good step forward from the basic uh, combat of Zero Dawn but again I think that there are common sense um, you know progressive steps that that it can take without changing things around too much that would be nice and and I noticed that when I was jumping on some rocks as well. Um, Aloy is not really the most graceful at traversing the world that they built for her. And I think that's a big shame. Uh, missed the trip there, I think. And I think, again, common sense progressive steps to take. But here I've been methodically knocking off components and... You know, it can be quite dangerous to Apex Temp Tremitus. So... It's nearly a goner now. Looking for the plasma cannon on the left eye and not being able to get it there. You have to run when it starts doing that, don't you? You just have to leg it. <laughs> and a victory pose there after that one. And then I had to go at um, a standard Tremitus. And this fight went really smoothly. Really, really smoothly. This one went for Aloy. She, uh, she did a good job here. 
she missed this shot here because I was too slow it sets itself and I had had a good rhythm going on that one and I was just able to hit that but that's a, a nice dodge and then hit the other salvo cannon before it fires and then try and work on the tusks and then see where we are need to get around the other side for the other salvo cannon at some point can't hit that tusk there have to wait, be patient. There it is. And then avoid the charge there. And then you can attack the ammo drums on the back. And then set yourself for whatever it's going to throw and it does a charging move so once again leg it set itself for when it finishes and try and get that plasma cannon off there it goes almost a goner now we'll dodge and then ammo drums on the back there she blows good job Aloy and then a few pictures Apex Thunderjaw that we had to go at and that's it so whatever you're doing, take care.